Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome back to Earthbound. <laughs> Last time we got started with this game, got introduced to the introduction of the story. <laughs> a meteorite fell in our little town of Wanet. And uh, Pokey here, the guy following us, <laughs> the fat kid who is actually our neighbor, he lost his little brother right at the meteor. We were there as well at first, but he sent us off because he was actually able to do everything himself. <laughs> Oh, oops. <laughs> enemy battle, and if an enemy able to sneak up on you, he will get an opening attack. Never saying he can do some damage to us before the official battle begins. So be careful for that. So, uh, in the middle of introduction, we are suddenly inside of a battle. <laughs> Let's go beat this snake up. <laughs> Pokey played dead. <laughs> you would expect that from King. <laughs> But okay, there we go. Barely beat the snake for only one experience point. <laughs> but it's enough to level up, in fact. <laughs> level 2 for Treeks or Ness. As you may expect, offense will go up, or HP will go up a little bit. And we also immediately learn our first PSI. Life up alpha. Level 2 is already enough for that. Interesting. And I was planning on doing some introduction for this video. And we're already leveling up. <laughs> Let's go check out our new PSI. In fact, it's one we already need because we got beat up by snakes. <laughs> Life up alpha is actually a way to yeah, heal yourself. Also works outside of battle, as you can see. It is a PSI that's also accessible from the menu. So if you're hurting, select it. And you will heal a certain amount of HP. In this case, it maxes out because we don't... Half the number of HP yet it is able to actually heal. <laughs> so for now it's always a full heal. Interesting and definitely handy to have. Because the enemies here, they do damage. And eventually the damage will pile up. <laughs> King sometimes can attack. But it's also pretty rare, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as you can see here, King can also attack. But he also does not always do it. The snakes are only worth 1 HP, so they're not worth the trouble, I feel. Next time we'll meet one, I'll cut it out. Unless something happens in the battle, then I'll keep it in. But every battle that does not show anything new, I will simply cut out. Like I always do in RPGs, in order to keep up the pace for the let's play. RPGs, especially in the turn-based fighting, can be a little bit repetitive sometimes. So. <laughs> he pretended to cry. <laughs> hey! Rude! Give that cookie back! <laughs> Come on, get that guy. Not going to be enough. Come on. There we go. We're not going to get our cookie back, but still. We get a new one. <laughs> because, as you may know from the first episode, these crows actually tend to leave one behind. But do be careful for them, because as you can see, they can steal your stuff. Anything that's in your goods, they can occasionally steal one of their attacks. It's also the whole reason why I actually told you to leave that present at the cliff behind for now. Because that is a lot more valuable than a cookie. <laughs> and with these spiteful crows, it's only going to get stolen. Oh, thank you for missing. Saves me some damage. And you go play dead, Pokey. <laughs> Such a useless fool. Ow. This time you didn't miss. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Pokey? <laughs> Why are you even in the party? It's not for nothing that you don't get your own box. As you can clearly see in the battles, only we get a box with our HP and our health. And therefore saying both Pokey and King are technically not real party members. And they are only extra, you might say. But more about that later. Yeah, there's plenty of enemies now. Unlike the first time we actually went past here. And I see a new one, so let's get back. <laughs> Runaway Dog. Allow me to actually show off a battle with them. New type of foe. Here is a runaway dog. And we're not talking about King here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not per se stronger than other enemies here. We'll see. At least it's better in dodging. <laughs> well, the howl's not working, apparently. I'm not too sure what that is supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure it's a stat changer. That we lose a fence or something. Well, he's worth 4 experience, so he's better than the Spiteful Crows. <laughs> and there's another one. And 
Yeah, once again, does nothing. So either it's a stat that I'm not able to actually get inflicted by yet, or I'm just getting lucky with the move not being effective. But I'm pretty sure it's the first one, so... The Howl attack that runaway dogs have, and running out of health, so... Oh, level up. Yeah, the lower level you are, the quicker the levels come. Obviously, it will require more experience points the higher your level becomes. And this time we're also increasing in Guts and Vitality. And IQ. But not by a whole lot. Uh, maximum HP does go up by a lot. <laughs> and we receive some extra magic. Also, thank you. Okay, good level up. For our health, at least. <laughs> Let's move on even further up the hill. This time around, there's no cops anymore, so nobody to stop us. And hey, who do we have here? Here's someone that looks like Pokey. <laughs> that has to be his little brother. With the cops being gone now, nobody's stopping us to actually take a look at this mysterious meteorite. Oh yeah, this is the point where King will go away. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. <laughs> and I thought Pokey was the coward here. <laughs> Useless dog. But anyway. Meteorite, eh? Caution. There are still lots of fires burning here. And there. It is hot. In that case, let's not touch it. <laughs> let's talk to Picky. What? Oh. You woke me up. Pokey. I've been looking all over for you. You see... Pokey got scared and ran away. Of course he did. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> I am not surprised. It was at first Pokey that actually ran away. But Picky joins us. Treeks. Do you hear a buzzing sound? Like a bee flying around? Well, not really, but my volume is very low, so... <laughs> yes, you can hear it. Ooh, meteorite. Something's happening. <laughs> of course, it's more than just a meteorite lying still. A bee pops out of it. A bee, I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future... All is devastation. Gygas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Trix. This I believe. Hmm. Gygas' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Three things are of the uttermost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Trix. Did you listen to what I told you? Um, I just read the whole thing, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's a little bit of the background story to this game. So indeed, make sure you've listened to this. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Treeks! It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. 
Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Well, you better not be. <laughs> because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Let's just go. <laughs> we don't have to listen to this idiot. But someone who's definitely not an idiot is this Buzz Buzz. The bee that's now flying around us. Ten years from the future. And let's make sure we actually get this present now so it's not still lying around ten years in the future. <laughs> it contains some bread. Which is a lot more powerful than a cookie. <laughs> can also heal you but a little bit more than a simple cookie can. Which is only six HP. I'm also pretty sure there's another use for the bread, but more about that later. Currently, that is useless to us. <laughs> Let's just move back to our house. We need to tell stories about the legendary Buzz Buzz from the future. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Alien alert! <laughs> it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Uh-oh, boss fight against the alien. Starman Jr. is in our pathway. And yeah, this guy's way out of our league. A little boy who's just level 3 is not going to cut it. However, we have Buzz Buzz with us and he will aid in this fight with very powerful magic. PSI Shield Sigma. Man, just the name of it sounds intense. <laughs> we are protected by Psychic Shield, PSI Fire Beta. However, because of Shield, the Sigma Shield is so strong, the magic attack dissipates completely. It does not damage us at all. Ooh, and our little Buzz Buzz friend can also uh, whack a punch. 73 HP of damage he did. <laughs> I can't even do that with critical. <laughs> PK Freeze, but once again. On our shield, so no damage to us. And thank you for reinitiating the shield. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it only lasts for a couple of turns. Obviously, the shields, as powerful as they get, they never last forever. <laughs> Man, who would have guessed having a simple bee with you in a fight would be able to fend off an alien? <laughs> 102 HP of damage, enough to finish him off. Even though we wouldn't have stood a chance, thanks to Buzz Buzz, we still win. Whew! I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. Due to Gygas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Let's just go home. <laughs> Let's go to Pokey's house first. Which is this house right over here. I told you he was our neighbor. <laughs> Alright, we're back home. At least these two guys are back home. <laughs> Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Well, not for me. I'm not one of your kids. <laughs> Let's talk to Dad. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. What was that sound? Did you just hit them? <laughs> uh, by the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. Okay. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Uh, I don't think they like us very much. <laughs> I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Uh oh. Did our powerful bee who just beat an alien just lose to a simple housewoman? <laughs>
Bas, Bas? Are you okay? Does not look like it. <laughs> uh, uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See? You. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Wanet, and it is called Giant Step. So, go there first. Do you understand? I understand. Alright. You are a very intelligent young man. And... Oh, the pain! Everything's getting dark! Uh, uh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But do you want to hear the story one more time? No, you're allowed to die. <laughs> I got it the first time. <laughs> Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Uh, uh. And we received the soundstone. Used to record eight melodies. Doesn't that sound familiar? Earthbound beginnings, anyone? <laughs> we are once again tasked to actually record some melodies. Only this time, it is to channel our power with the Earth. Only that can actually defeat Gygus, the big bad guy who's running the alien show. <laughs> and one of them is actually right here in our town, which is very interesting. Before we actually go there, there's something I'd like to show off. And this is actually relevant for the story later on. But I do like to show off there's actually one present here as well. Remember Liar X Accurate's house? The billboard guy. <laughs> that is actually where we need to go. And here he is. Let's make sure we don't die to snakes. <laughs> Because there's still one more I see. Ah, oh, come on. Such a waste of turn. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Unlike last time, he's not standing in front of his door, so this time we can actually go in it. And find out that he's actually uh, digging holes in his house. <laughs> I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go down to the basement. Ah, I can tell on the look by your face that you don't want to hang out, do you? Well, that's alright. After all, we're not even related. <laughs> I know that you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Man, you're literally called liar, so of course you're one. <laughs> but the reason we're here is not because of him lying. He actually has found something while digging holes in his house. <laughs> something of great importance. So, Treeks buddy, I found proof of a great treasure. A huge hole. <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Okay, what did you find? Ooh, that looks interesting. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now, you're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. <laughs> well, indeed, if something this shiny is right in front of you, who wouldn't get greedy? <laughs> But just remember, the existence of these golden statues, quote-unquote golden statues, they are actually important for the story. Not per se this one, but do remember, there is actually one right over here. 
So the moment we actually get truly started with the story in this game, we have some context of what is going on right here in OneNet. Speaking of which, it's actually time to head down again. I could show off auto. Uh, let's not. I'm going to cut out this battle anyway. An interesting battle like this. Oh, unless I level up. <laughs> level 4. Ooh, that's actually uh, working wonders for offense, it looks like. And it also gives us another PSI. Hypnosis Alpha. Perhaps I'll show that off. Not right now, of course. <laughs> Unlike Life Up Alpha, this is not one we can use outside of battle. But we do need some healing, so... Next time we actually meet an enemy, we can uh, use it effectively against. Perhaps I'll show it off. I'm not the biggest fan of using those types of um, PSIs, the stats changing ones. But still, I know of a couple of bosses at least where uh, hypnosis can be effective, so... I will use it, I promise. <laughs> Just probably not against the weaker enemies. That's a little bit too much of a waste of PP. And I don't really have a whole lot of it, so... <laughs> I have to conserve it a little bit. But now that we're here, might as well show off Auto. I was thinking about it in the last fight, so... I can at least say I've also shown that off. It speaks for itself, as you can see. The battle will go by itself. The computer will actually take over for you. And depending on how high your IQ is, that, that will actually determine how smart the computer will be in taking over your battle. Oh, what the hell? Now what's happening? Who the heck are you? <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Oh, hey, it worked. <laughs> wow, what a great photograph. And I accidentally pressed that dialogue too quickly. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, at this point in the game, if you actually try to go into your house, a random pictograph dude will show up. Making a pictograph out of you. Something that is technically not required to beat the game, but I will try to go for all of them. And in the meantime, we will actually head south to the actual town of Wanet, because we are at the suburbs right now. <laughs> Only two houses here. Our little home and Pokey's house. Oh, butterfly. Allow me. Magic butterflies will actually heal your magic in this game. The magic butterfly made the tricks relax. Remember these butterflies. They randomly appear in certain locations in this game, and if you touch them, they will heal 20 of your PP. One at public library. Use the library more. <laughs> a library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can actually borrow maps for nothing. Ooh, perhaps they even have maps for Earthbound. <laughs> it's not like we're playing the game or anything. <laughs> Hi. Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yeah, sure. Here's a map. One that isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know, the X button located near the top. Oh god, this woman is breaking the fourth border. <laughs> but anyway, we get a map. And with this we can actually see all of the hotspots in any town in the game. I will not be keeping it with me for the whole game, because yes, it will actually use up an inventory slot. And I think that's a little bit too much of a waste. <laughs> I will struggle with the inventory as it is, so I'm not going to keep a map with me for the towns in this game. Because I already know where everything is in the towns. Just remember, you can use it if you get lost in the town, or simply don't know where to find a certain location. Take a good look. It's the last time we'll be seeing it in this Let's Play. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Next time we will continue in Wanet and actually take a look at that 
your sanctuary location that is apparently here. Hmm. See you folks next time and Treeks out!